fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Parker Nierenstein. This is Vehicle Virgins. Make sure to smash that subscribe button because we've got awesome content coming every single day. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to change your oil. So you want to change your own oil. Perhaps your car is out of warranty or you're just curious about doing it yourself. Or maybe you wanna save a couple extra bucks. Well, today I'm gonna to teach you just how to do that. There's many advantages to doing your own oil changes. One, you know it's done correctly, nobody's slacking off. And two, because you can buy all the components yourself, you can get higher quality oil and filters for the same or cheaper and then not have to pay for labor. The first before any of this is to determine when your car needs an oil change and if it actually does. Now, some people go by general rules of thumb, every three, five, 7,500, or 10,000 miles. Now, you can do this, although the best thing to do is just check your owner's manual. In your owner's manual, it's gonna tell you exactly every how many miles you need to change the oil for your car, not somebody else's on the internet. Now, in many modern cars, there's actually a light that pops up on the dash that can tell you if you need to change your oil or the car needs to go in for service. Very, very helpful. If it does pop up, do it quickly. You don't wanna cause unnecessary problems by not changing the oil in your car. Now, we were going to use the Lamborghini for today's video, but it actually doesn't need an oil change. So we got my buddy James, he's got a Camaro 1LE, and we're gonna change the oil on that. Per the owner's manual, it says every 7,500 miles or 12 months. But before we get started, I want to talk about watches. Watches tell more than just time. They make a statement and they complete your outfit. I get asked all the time, what is a decently priced quality watch that doesn't break the bank? And I've got an answer for you, and that is Vincero. For under $200, you're getting an insanely high quality timepiece that looks good, turns heads, and has a manufacturing process and build quality on par with watches that cost five times as much. So if you're looking to elevate your watch game, Vincero's where it's at. Vincero makes some awesome looking stuff. I don't have to just tell you that. You can look for yourself. Some of their newer models are absolutely stunning like this one. The best part is they are having the largest site-wide sale of the year for pre-Black Friday. No matter who you're getting the watch for yourself or as a gift, they will love it long after the holidays are over and you can get it early. Seriously, the deals are huge, guys. So after the video is done, click the link in the description below and get yourself a Vincero. So James has pulled his Camaro up. Once you've determined that your car does in fact need an oil change, the next thing you need to do is determine what type of oil and what type of filter you need for your car. So the simplest thing you can do is just get the owner's manual out and look in that. According to GM, this requires Mobile One 5W30 that meets Dexos One standards. Now, your car might be something totally different. So you can either call your dealer, look in the owner's manual, or honestly, you can Google it. But make sure to cross-reference because a lot of people fight online over what oil to use in their specific cars. Some cars, even on the oil cap, tell you what oil you need to use. Speaking of Mobile One, if your car does require that, they've got a pretty cool feature on their website where you can type in the year, the make, and the model of your car and determine exactly what oil it needs and what filters. To save a little bit of money, we're headed to Walmart to get the oil. Go to places like Walmart, Costco, AutoZone, Pep Boys, it doesn't really matter. They'll probably stock your oil. All right, here we go. Looking for 5W30 Advanced Synthetic. We've got Dexos approved. Another thing you need to read in your owner's manual is determining how many quarts of oil the car actually needs. Now the V8 Camaro of this generation requires eight quarts, so we're gonna get two different five quart tanks. There we go. Walmart's also got a handy booklet that you can use to check what oil filter you need for your car. Let's see. All right, there we go. Camaro 6.2 liter V8 from 2015. K&N, we've got an HP 1017. Let's see if there's an AC Delco. Wants to use AC Delco, so let's see. F48E. F48E, right there. So now we've got the oil and the oil filter. 
There we go, all the parts required for the Camaro, $60.13. Now the original plan was to do this entire thing in my driveway using a jack and jack stand, but because my driveway is being redone, we're gonna head to Avant Garde Exotics and use their lift to make it a little bit easier. Let's roll. So I come to AGX for a bunch of different things, but usually for servicing my Lamborghini. Now, we were going to do an oil change on the Lambo. If this video gets 20,000 likes, I will do a how to change your oil on a Lambo video, but for now, we're gonna do it on the Camaro. So let's get this thing lifted up and check out where the drain plug is. Like I said before, you can use a jack and jack stand, but this makes it a little bit easier, especially to show you what it looks like in the video. The engine bay now, and as I was saying before, on the oil cap, sometimes it tells you what type of oil to use. There we go, 5W30. Now there are two different schools of thought, and either one actually works for how warm the engine should be before you do this. Some people say the oil flows a lot better if you warm the car up for about five minutes, then let it cool down for 10 minutes and then remove the drain plug. Other people say, just go ahead and go for it. We've warmed the car up, we've warmed the car up because we drove over here. Now we're gonna let it cool for a little bit and then remove the plug. So the car is in the air now. Now if you need to jack it up, there's also information on where to jack your car up in the owner's manual as well. Usually hard points, uh, behind the tires here. Not that difficult to do whatsoever. Make sure to use jack stands though so the car doesn't come down on top of you. Now the next step is to find out where the oil filter and the drain plug are on the underside of the car. So come this way. Oftentimes, now it's actually not the case in this Camaro, the actual oil pan is black. Now, here I can see the drain plug and the oil filter. You're gonna have a giant bolt right in the middle of the pan. It's really obvious actually. It's the only bolt that looks like it. This is where the drain plug is. Now over here, this is the oil filter that we're gonna replace as well. But first, we're gonna loosen the drain plug. So find a wrench of the right size. Oftentimes it's 14 or 15 millimeters. In this case, it's 15 millimeters. But be careful, if you have warmed up the car, the oil is hot and it is gonna spill out everywhere. So make sure that you have a bucket of the right size. In this case, it has to be bigger than eight quarts because that's the amount that the SS1LE takes. So you can put it underneath. Now we're gonna loosen this a tiny bit. And well, you can do it and you must do it with gloves, uh, it's gonna get really messy. Just in case, because it is really hot, we're gonna loosen it a little bit, and we've got this magnet tool, totally not required, that we can actually stick and twist the bolt from far away so that my arm is out of the way. Now also, use old clothes because you are going to get absolutely filthy while doing this. All right, let's loosen the drain plug. The simple way to do it at home is to use a large bucket. Make sure to store the oil though. We're gonna talk about disposing it later on in the video. This is a more advanced way of doing it and just because we have it available, we're going to use it. Now make sure that the drain pan is underneath exactly where you're taking out the bolt so that you don't spill this everywhere. Just eyeball it and check a couple times so you don't create a huge mess. All right, we are going to put gloves on now and now it is time to loosen the drain plug. Now, in certain instances, the drain plug may be really difficult to remove. You might need a breaker bar or a really long wrench. This should do the trick. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on and turn it counterclockwise to loosen it. We've got this handy dandy tool here. and oil should start coming out. There we go, almost all of the oil has drained out. 
The next step is to remove the oil filter located right here. Now on some cars, you can remove it by hand. On others, it's a little bit more tricky and difficult. So we've got a various array of tools that we can use to remove it. But you can of course try it first by hand. All right, so to remove the oil filter, turn it counterclockwise. And be careful, oil is going to come out of the filter when you remove it. Nowhere near to the extent as the drain plug. And that is your old oil filter. So now that you know what the oil filter location and what it looks like is on a Camaro, let's check out what it looks like on a Huracan. Come over this way. So unlike the Camaro, where the oil filter is located on the underside of the car, on the Huracan, it's actually on the top right here. Then on a Gallardo, that is where the oil filter is. That is crazy. In case the drain plug is a real pain in the butt, you can use one of these, or you can use it to set the torque on the center lock Aventador SV wheels. That is crazy. Now that the oil has stopped draining, let's take a look at the old oil filter and compare it, this is a Bosch unit, to the new AC Delco unit. There you go. Now, because this is actually vertically mounted like this, you can actually pre-fill it with oil so that it doesn't run dry when you start it up and also rub a little bit of oil around the edge so that it creates a better seal and it's easier to take off next time. So let's go ahead and pour a little bit of oil into the filter. And then a little bit of oil to run around the edge here. Now you don't actually need a tool to insert it back in. I'm gonna go ahead and do this by hand. So there is a bolt up here that's going to align with the threads in the filter itself. Now be careful, all this stuff is pretty hot. And there you go, you've got yourself a new oil filter. Now it is time to reinsert the drain plug. Now you wanna make this snug, but not too tight so you don't strip it and make it impossible to remove the next time. There you go. Let's wheel the old oil out of the way. Now it's important to dispose of this the correct way. A lot of auto parts store will actually recycle the oil or you can contact your local dump and they might be able to help out as well. Don't just throw all this in the trash. Now we're gonna lower the Camaro back down and put oil into the car. The next step is to refill your car with the new oil that you bought. So go ahead and pop the hood, locate where the oil cap is, which in this case is right here. Go ahead and remove that. Then we're gonna get a funnel and pour in the new oil. So here we have the new oil as well as the funnel. Now on the side of these tubs, it actually shows you a level so you know how much oil you're putting in. Now these are five quarts each, so we're gonna do five quarts from this and three quarts from the other tank. Go ahead and unscrew the top. <laughs> Slowly pour all of the oil in. Just look at the color difference between this oil and the oil that came out. All right, now we are going to pour three quarts of oil from this guy. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the oil cap back on. The last step to make sure we put the right amount of oil in the car is to check the dipstick. So we're gonna go ahead and locate that on this car. It is right here. Now we're gonna go ahead and wipe off the end of it so it is all nice and clean. And as you can see here, there are four different markings. That one means it's overflowed. We wanna be right in the middle here. So let's see how we did. All right. What's the difference? 
And as you can see, it goes right up past this one, meaning we've got just the right amount of oil. Well guys, that is how you change the oil on your car. Simple as that. You can do it in an even more simple fashion. You didn't need the lift. You didn't need those tools. You could do it with a jack and by hand. But simply by using your owner's manual or Googling online, you can find out exactly what oil you need, where to buy it, and do it yourself in your driveway or your garage and save some money. It's also kind of fun to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. And if you don't want to do it yourself, then Avant Garde Exotics has got you covered. If you've got a Ferrari, Lamborghini, or Porsche, I look forward to seeing you next video. Now, a little PS, some cars, once you do the oil change, you actually have to reset the indicator, which you can do most of the time on the stock. Oil life remaining 5%, but that's not true anymore. Reset, and, and boom, there we go.